It's November on the farm and we just finished planting sunchokes. We'll be planting tulips and garlic. Uh, we just had a farm day where a bunch of friends and family came and helped us put compost on our beds to get them ready for spring. We love being able to have the CNG logo on our banner. So when people come to the farm stand and talk to us, we can tell them that we are part of this really awesome grassroots organization that helps smaller farmers like us get a certification so people know when they buy our produce that it's grown without any pesticides. To bring healthy food to the market each week, we need to have a very healthy soil. So we're adding a lot of compost to our beds this fall. And then when springtime comes, we'll just be ready to get right into planting. husband is a city boy and I'm a country girl. I grew up on a farm where we raised our own animals and grew our own food. When we moved to Georgia, we knew that we wanted to have a farm of our own where we can grow our own food and raise our own animals. These lovely hens are why we get up in the mornings. We are a small farm and we are not a corporation and so we give them fresh water every day. We feed them and give them fresh water every day which you, helps with the quality of the eggs and the meat that you get. This is Nanny <laughs> and that is Candy. <laughs> These are two other protectors that helps to keep the predators away on the farm. My father is a farmer, my mother is also a farmer. When I was growing up, I saw them every day get up early to give water to the animals and to feed the animals, to go to the garden, to weed sow the, um, the crops, to gather the crops. And so when I, as I grew older, I, it was my responsibility to go out and help also. So I would help them um, pull scallion and clean them off. I would help them cut off onions. I would be watering the carrying water to water the goats. I'll be feeding them, I'll be milking the goat. So when we moved here, I wanted that too. My name is Caitlin. I have Truth of the Lion Farm and Apothecary. Uh, we grow herbs on six acres for herbal tea blends and herbal tonics and elixirs. So we have our herbal apothecary CSA. We do a couple of different farmers markets in Philly and near Allentown. And uh, we sell online and a couple of wholesale uh, markets. The farmer to farmer um, Inspections are my favorite part about CNG. If you have your own farm, you don't always have time to get off and visit other people's farms. And sometimes it's just you see that little small thing that makes a huge difference in your, in your process that, that you can take back with you to the farm. The reason why I love farming is because other farmers are always just so generally open and sharing with their process and we're all learning, you know, like we're all trying to do better next year. I think that the inspections make me a better farmer, definitely. Well, the first inspection that I had, he had worked here at this farm before I was here. So he worked for the farmer who was, who was on this land before me. And I just felt relieved to know he said the weeds were bigger, you know, when he was there. <laughs> And I was like, that makes me feel a lot better. Hey, it's Ruby with Valhalla Organics. We are a certified naturally grown farm and apiary based in Talent, Oregon and Bonanza, Oregon, where I am now. So overwintering here, we have uh, nine hives that are all built up to their full strength. So we've got all our hives kind of squished together next to each other for winter. And that is because they will actually keep each other more warm and insulated like that. I'm Lori Ritchie and my husband John and I own JNL Farm and Stables in Hefseva, Georgia. We are a certified naturally grown farm. Our produce um, has been certified for about eight years now. Right now, in the fall, we just have some vegetables that are going to be wintering over. A row of onions, and then we have two double rows of garlic. My name's Ann Nyheis, and I am a certified naturally grown producer of microgreens. Our mission statement is to grow without GMO seeds, and to grow where our soil has no chemicals, no pesticides, no fertilizers just natural soil. 
We serve it to our customers every week at the Green Market, where they just put a little water in the bottom watering tray and graze across the plate for the following week. Beekeeping is kind of like an extension of the garden and um, you know you start looking at flowers and trees differently and, and we started keeping bees. We had all these products, you know, all from the beehives, the beeswax, the honey, all that stuff, and like, what can we do with it so that nothing's being wasted? We let that guide our product line. We have a nice um, ecosystem here that's biodiverse. We've got little macnet farms, we've got big areas of wild space, uh, Christmas berry, provide food and forage uh, for the honeybee, and it's a diverse source of food. Our honey is certified naturally grown, and we don't use pesticides and herbicides or any sort of treatments in our beehives and the honey is raw. Teaching more people uh, beekeeping methods that are, are resilient, regenerative, ethical, that puts the bees health first so that other people can continue you know, what we're doing so that you know, the, the uh, impact is larger. It's all about community too, um, working with each other. I feel like I have learned a lot from CNG and that they are a really special resource for helping to share and build net networks amongst peers and farmers. Learning from, from other farmers is where I learn the most. Any farmers out there who has not yet been certified, contact CNG and get certified. It's a wonderful organization.